All right, continuing with our drawing, we're going to extrude this half circle. So we'll want to make sure your UCS is still set to the same. Z should be facing in line with the, the direction of the post that we want to have. So we're going to now go to uh, extrude. Since this is a single line, it doesn't matter which extrude you use. It can, it can only be extruded as a surface. So we're going to click Extrude on the Home tab. Select the object you want to extrude. Press Enter. And then we're going to extrude this all the way down beyond this bracket. Doesn't matter how far. I'll just go really far. So now that we've extruded it, we need to then trim what we don't want. So we're going to go to the surface tab and click on trim. Then follow the prompts that says select surfaces or regions to trim. We're going to select this surface to trim. Press enter. Then select cutting curves surfaces or regions. We will be selecting this surface as our cutting surface. Press Enter. And then we're going to select Area to Trim. So on our surface, you just simply click the areas you want to get rid of. So we're going to click here to get rid of that part. And then we have a little bit in here underneath in between this section here. So I want to trim this as well so that this terminates right at the edge of this bracket. So that's trimming. All right, now that we have one surface, we need to actually offset this surface inward to create the thickness of our pole that we're going to be using. So the, the, the pole is going to be hollow in the center, so the surface has zero thickness to it. So we need to model by offsetting this original surface the inside of what the pipe would be. So in order to know how far to do that, there's actually another layer that would show us that dimension. So we're going to go to the Home tab. And then we're going to find the Seat Post layer. And then turn that layer on. I didn't switch to the Seat Post layer. You should still be drawing on the 3D frame layer. Now we're going to offset this surface inward to match this blue radius here. So to offset, that's going to be found again in the Surface tab. Find the Offset button and click on that. And select the surface you want to offset. And then press Enter. And you're going to get some direction arrows indicating the direction that this would be offset. And we do not want to offset outward, we want to offset inward. So we need to flip the direction of this, which will be found in the menu down below. So click on Flip Direction, and the arrow should then turn inward. And now we're ready to specify the offset distance. Now I don't know the offset distance but I can simply use a clicking method to get a reference. So I'm going to click here. It's a starting point. I'm going to click on the blue intersection here and it will offset that distance. So now we have two different surfaces, an inner surface and an outer surface. And the next lesson we're going to Close in this top portion.